What's cracking YouTube? Today is gonna be a really quick video, something a little different. I need help from you guys. I wanna hear you guys, your guys' opinion. Basically, the way my big league works is it's a keeper system. Anyone drafted in the 10th round or later that ends up on your final roster, you can choose to keep them only up to two players. You can only choose two players, but you can choose to keep them the following year. You lose the draft pick in the round before whatever round he was picked that year. So say I picked player X in round 10. Last year, he, he wound up on my final roster. So I can keep him for this upcoming year. I'll lose my ninth round pick. So I have the option to choose from four guys. And I didn't even realize I had the option to choose from all these guys, but I looked on Yahoo. I looked at my final roster from last year, and this is what I have. So, Drew Brees was picked in the 10th round. I could lose a 9th round pick to keep him. Pierre Garçon was picked in the 14th. Deshaun Jackson, now on the Bucks, was picked in the 12th round. And then Danny Woodhead, 12th round, can choose to lose an 11th round pick. So I get to choose two of those guys. I want to hear your opinion. If you could do it, it's a .5 PPR league. Also .5 per first down. Uh, six points per passing touchdown. So my my immediate thing would obviously to be to look at their ADPs, see what would provide me the most value, and the and the obvious one off the board is Drew Brees because he's going as like a fifth round pick. I know I've been talking about how I, I think he's on my overvalued list, but obviously if I can get him for a tenth round pick, and he could be my quarterback, I don't really have to worry about that position. And then again, I have Pierre Garcon, Deshaun Jackson, Danny Woodhead. My first thoughts were to get rid of uh, Deshaun Jackson and choose between Brees, Pierre Garcon, Danny Woodhead. I like Danny Woodhead a lot more than I like Pierre Garcon. Or not a lot more, but I, I, I like him, I prefer him. Um, but he is going two rounds earlier than Pierre, so I'd lose an 11th instead of a 13th. Which also takes away from possible keeper rounds for next year, right? Guys that I could draft in the 10th round or later, that would be a possible keeper for next year. And I'm looking at the ADPs right now. Like I said, we have Breeze going off as 57 overall, quarterback four. Garcon is 67 overall, wide receiver 33. And then Woodhead is 71 overall, so running back 26. So him and Pierre Garcon are within like five spots of each other. Sean Jackson is probably a little later than that. He is 79, so he's not actually that much later. My first thoughts are, because I know the way my league drafts, usually guys like Pierre Garcon, Woodhead, like those undervalued guys go, end up going pretty late. I almost want to take Pierre Garcon and Danny Woodhead, <clears throat> and I know a lot of you guys are going to fight against this and, and me not picking Breeze, but I just see so much value. Like, I'm in a 10-team league. And there's so much value at quarterback in like the 11th, 12th round. But that being said, I don't, uh, it's tough. It's tough. But I, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Like, give me your best points on which two of those guys you would take. And I don't even have to take two, actually. It could, it could be one. It could be zero. I don't know why I would not keep any of them. But I want to hear some good analysis from y'all. And uh, let me hear your opinions because I need help on this one. I know it's a while away. I don't really have to pick until like the end of August, early September. But I want to start gathering thoughts on it so I could start when I do mock drafts. I'm prepped for who's going to be on my team and what positions I don't have to really focus on. So thank you. I appreciate the help. All the comments down below. Y'all will be remembered for that.